Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today DJI has dropped the MIMO app for iOS, and we expect the Android one to drop at any moment. Along with the new app comes a new firmware, firmware 1.02.00.20. Now, what does this give you? Well, it gives us some things that we've been wanting since uh, the release, and they kind of hinted at it, but it wasn't there in the beta version, so now, Let's see what we have. We now have 1080p at 120 frames per second. So we have some really cool slow-mo, and I'll show you how to use that in the new app. There's new features for the power button and the, uh, the mode buttons here. I'll go ahead and turn this on. So when, they, when we first got the Osmo Pocket, in order to flip the camera around for selfie mode or to recenter it, you had to navigate through screens on the app. Now we just tap the mode button. So twice, we'll do a recenter. Three times, selfie mode. So very handy feature there. Now one thing that's kind of cool now is when you turn it off, it automatically goes into position to go into the little carrier. So that's a handy feature as well. There's reduced noise in the recordings now. So that's a nice little improvement. In uh, some of the scenes, I don't know exactly what that means, but some of the scenes they've optimized the audio. Now, if you watched our other video, and I'll give a link up above there, uh, we did uh, some tests on the audio, and it's actually pretty good. And the reason why it's pretty decent is because there's a mic on the, the back here, and there's also a mic on the bottom. And together, they create some noise reduction. So it really helps with the audio quality. Now granted, that only helps if the screen is facing the person. If I'm holding it out and facing someone else while I'm watching it, well, the microphone's facing me and the audio is not gonna be too good and that's where the external microphones are gonna come in. But for selfies, for vlogs, that's really cool. We now have the ability to recenter and change the orientation when it's in flashlight mode. So that's a nice little uh, improvement. The autofocus has been improved. There was a couple times where I had it do some hunting and I, hopefully that will fix that issue on uh, the pocket. The panorama mode uh, speed has been improved. So that's nice. It won't have to take so long to do those panoramas. When you go to play back a video, that is now much faster. So that's a nice improvement there in the playback. We, you don't have audio on your playback, so I don't know if you knew that or not, uh, but you do get video playback right on the screen. So now uh, that playback speed is a little better. The gimbal performance has been improved in time-lapse mode. So uh, a couple little drifts we saw. I didn't have too many problems with it before. It was actually pretty good, but now that's even better. So uh, some nice improvements there. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the new MIMO app, which is available in the store. In fact, I don't even need to bring it up, which is kind of nice. If I turn on the DJI Osmo Pocket and just plug it into my phone, it's going to automatically launch the MIMO app. And uh, so we got some video down there. So now on the main screen here, I now have a slow motion option. So it gives me four times slow motion. So at 120 frames per second, I can slow that down to 24 frames per second and get some really nice smooth footage. So that's really kind of the basics of the new app and the new firmware. So very excited to start trying out the 120 frames per second for some really cool slow motion B-roll. And I really like the new features for being able to recenter right from the control, as well as it going into storage mode when you turn it off. So hopefully this has given you a nice little rundown of the new features of firmware 1.02.00.20. Thanks for watching, be sure and subscribe. Check the bell icon to be notified anytime that there is a new video posted. Thanks for watching and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye.